welcome to welcome back to roblox so uh so with roblox the uh banana eats the banana eats christmas update is still going around on banana eats and i'm close to like i only need the i only need two more skins left and i'll complete the christmas event but there's a there's a new thing called ripe updates and what this is is that this RY Citrus has RY Citrus has made this year new lobbies new maps pro servers new game modes and story quests Right up the starting January. Banana eats. Okay, so that was that was the teaser trailer, and I'm having I'm having some I have some theories as to what this teaser trailer could mean. What we know is that there's gonna be like there is gonna be a new lobby, so we're gonna have to say goodbye to the old lobby and say the creepy cave aesthetic and say hello to the new lobby, which has like a a, a a more sophisticated gate, it are we gonna be in like some kind of banana castle or something? Are we gonna be in some kind of like jail, big banana jail cell? I have no idea. New maps are coming out, which is pretty surprising because it had, we're finally getting new maps because it had been it has been free it had been three months. Since Banana Manor came out. If Banana Manor came out three months ago during October. And we went for November, December, and now we're in January. So that's like two and a half months ago since since Banana Manor to the added the game. There's a there's gonna be new game mode, so we could probably see like an infection game mode. We could see like a bot game mode. There could we could have like the bot game mode where there's gonna be like an AI banana. So that it doesn't have to be player all the time, and that everyone can complete the map, and one player doesn't have to be the poor banana. There, there could be like an infection mode, which could be really awesome. There, there can also, there can also be like, there could also be like maybe there could also be like a hide and seek, a hide and seek mini game, much like with Kitty. Much like Roblox Kitty and its and its game modes, because Roblox Kitty actually has game modes on a separate thing and story quests, which makes me think that we're gonna get like a storyline for Banana Eats. Banana Eats is actually gonna develop itself its own story. It's gonna have to wait for R Y Citrus to give out any confirmation that there's gonna be like an, an official storyline going on for this game. Much like what Minitoon and Kitty did with their storylines. Minitoon and Kitty. Minitoon and Gab Studios managed to have Piggy and Kitty have their own storylines. In fact, every other every other Piggy inspired game and games are that are similar to Piggy have some slight similarities, have developed their own storylines. Bear and Banana Eats seem to be the only two games that don't actually develop their own storylines. They're just like fun little games, fun little horror escape games that you can play. While Bear, Bear was kind of ridiculous just because of how weird Bear was, Banana Eat Banana Eats was really well polished, and I'm hoping that the storyline for Banana Eats, when the storyline actually comes out, I'm hoping that Banana Eats' story will actually be very well polished and very well made, much like what Minitoon does with his game. Pro servers, I can only imagine pro servers is like for players that have reached like very high levels. And uh and that for players that are reaching very high levels, like I am, will be transported to a server for pros. I know my way around banana eats. In fact, I know I my way around the map, so kind of like a pro. Well, Semi-pro, but semi-pro because I sometimes make big oops, but I know my way around the maps and I know some strategies. But 
Dur. But what the trailer does imply is that we are getting new maps, new game modes, we're getting new pro servers. Are we going to have any, are we going to have more events? I'm hoping that when this, when this update, I'm hoping when this ripe, when the ripe updates finally releases, there's going to be like a big, a big celebration event. I'm hoping there's going to be like, like an event with new skins and some new beacons to celebrate the, celebrate the launchers. And the new skins are going to be like permanent. There's gonna, probably going to be like new permanent beacons. Let's hope there's going to be like new codes coming out. And, and well, let's, let's just hope. This is my, this is my video just explain my thoughts. And if we look back at the trailer, if we go back to the teaser trailer, if we look back, we're going to lower down the volume. If we look back at the trailer, we, we see a whole ton of polished stuff. There, if you look back, there's going to be new lobbies, which is going to be awesome. New maps, which is pro servers. There's going to be new game modes, which I can imagine what the game modes are going to be like. There's going to be story quests, which detail a deeper story to the game. And that's all the updates we... That's all the teaser updates we know about now. So... That is just what I think of. If you guys like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if anyone watches this video, 